Hello, everyone. We are introducing archetypes today. I am Connie, and I'm here with my counterpart, Dr. Orr, and we're going to walk you through discovering your inner guides. Yes. Hi. Good to be here. Um, okay. So I'm Dr. Orr. I'm a doctor of natural medicine. I have been in private practice since, since 2012, and I have been working with energy medicine since 2008. Um, I am very, very passionate about supporting women in finding their inner knowing and finding it, listening to it, connecting with it, and then taking action towards whatever that inner knowing tells them to do and to be and to pursue. Um, and so, yeah, this is exciting to be here with you, Connie. Awesome. And I'm Connie Melchak. I am an awareness life coach. Uh, I've also had my own private practice for the last 12 years. And I work with folks in um, life transitions. Um, so it could be moving, it could be career shift, um, it could be, uh, you know, relationships related to relationships, or um, just the discovery of their true north and what it is that they're passionate about in their life purpose. Uh, both Dr. Orr and I work with people um, energetically. So a lot of it has to do with becoming aware of what's subconscious and bringing that into conscious awareness. Um, so in, in the last year, we have uh, begun to present um, some workshops that have been really, really nice to work with folks in small groups. It's been really, really satisfying um, work that we've done. So that's a little bit about us. Now we're going to talk about what are archetypes. Archetypes are patterns of energy that we all have. Um, they're life cycles that you could recognize or notice in your life. They are recurring and predictable behaviors. And they're also our core default characteristics and personality traits. So we've been working with archetypes for a long time, both Connie and I. And when we were first introduced to them, they came really intuitively to us. It was very easy to understand what they were, how they played a role in um, self-discovery and energy work and um, and how and they were working. impacting our lives, like how they were impacting and showing up in our daily lives. Yes. And lately, as we are um, sharing this course and this work with others, people are asking, what in the world are you talking about, <laughs> basically? <laughs> and so we wanted to um, present it in a way that is very tangible for people to understand what archetypes are. And so if I say something like um, the poet or a teacher, nurse, doctor, we when I say these words, we all have certain connotations that go to them. We have an image, we have um, a story connected with these characters. And those characters are archetypes. And also, in addition to those um, characteristics, I would say talent, skills, and abilities that are associated with um, various archetypes. And I'm just going to throw out um, a few other ones because I think they're they're also um, useful, like the engineer, um, like the hostess, um, like the queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Now we're going to move on to working energetically, um, working with your energetic support system. And um, like Dr. Orr will often say, uh, we like to call this group of energetic support, your board of directors. Yeah, so when we are born and right before we come into this human form, a bunch of these archetypes get together and they go, okay, we're going to support you in taking out and living out your contracts, your life lessons, your relationships with others, your purpose. And we're going to, to be there with you. And so, just like in astrology where we're born and there is an implant of energy, there's an implant of energy patterns here that we call the archetypes and they are blueprints. So we each have this blueprint that we come to the world with and there are usually about 12 of them, 12 archetypes within our subconscious. When you have this, this blueprint with these 12 archetypes that are within your subconscious, Part of the work that Dr. Orr and I do with our clients and that we do within our workshops is helping folks to bring those um, 
the, that aw the awareness of what is in your subconscious with regard to those energy patterns and bring it to your conscious awareness because ultimately um you know like we'll talk about a little later on your child archetype is specifically connected to your core wound and so with each of these archetypes there's opportunity for growth healing and your highest potential okay so their purpose as a group of support is to motivate us to push us to direct us towards our vision and our calling and to help us in completing our sacred contract so now we're showing you a sample natal archetype chart and so everyone has their own unique individual um, archetype chart which is a map of your energetic support system and so the first thing that i want to point out is you'll see that um, prostitute saboteur and victim are in green and those are what we like to call your guardian um, archetypes and then you'll see the wounded child in like an orangish color and the prostitute saboteur victim and wounded child make up your core archetypes and everyone everyone on the planet has one of those or has all of those core archetypes but dr or you can talk about the different child archetypes that are out there Okay, so in a so as this person on this chart has wounded child, that's just one flavor of the different flavors of child archetypes that exist. So there's nature child, divine child, magical child, um, playful child. There's different energies that are associated with a child archetype. And again, depending on your blueprint, you would have one of those on your chart. You could have more than one child archetype, but you would have at least one of those. Yes. So as you can see, these archetypes are laid on a chart that looks like an astrology chart. It has 12 houses in total, and each house represents an aspect of your life, of our lives. And within each of these houses is at least one archetype that is in charge. So if we think about being in an, a company and we are the CEOs of that company, and then these are our board of directors, all our archetypes are our board of directors. Each director is like a department head, right? And each department is a part of our lives. And within each department, they all end up working together. So while in this chart, the trickster is in charge of our highest potential and the goddess is in charge of other people's resources, they will still work together in some cases, de depending on the experience that you're going through, depending on um, the relationship that you're in. Each of these will have different flavors that they bring into your personality, different needs that they bring into your life, different desires. Um, different voices. So part of the work, part of the, the journey here in working with architects, and it is a journey, both of both, both Connie and I have been on this journey for 15 or so years of exploring our chart and learning about our archetypes, and it does not stop. And so part of the journey is discovering what each of your archetype archetypes is here for, what they think, how they feel, what their light attributes are, what their shadow attributes are, and how you bring them into manifestation so one person's trickster is going to be very different than another person's trickster one yeah. person's warrior is going to be very different from another person's warrior so for you to understand and to feel how you embody that energy remember these are energy patterns these are um, stories uh, characters avatars that have built themselves and been woven throughout the history of our civilization Mm -hmm. And so it's how did we, as who we are today, pick up all these different stories and all these different threads and weave it together, together to make who we are. Yeah, no, that's that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. And, you know, and I will say with regard to uh, working with your archetype chart, you know, for me, there's been times when, you know, two of my archetypes have been working together and then one of those archetypes will go off and work with another um, archetype. Sometimes they work alone and it really is connected to the lessons that you're here to learn, the wounds that you have and providing you an opportunity to um, more easily identify where you have healing opportunity in your life. So how aligned are you? So this is a question that we tend to ask ourselves, like if you're into Abraham Hicks, for example, if you're into any kind of manifestation techniques, you've heard that question, you've heard or asked yourself, 
how aligned am I with my desires, with my thoughts, with my feelings, with my needs, with my relationships, with my decision making. And your archetypes are there to support you in answering those questions, in discovering more about your alignment or your journey, where you're going. Um, and a big part of the journey and a big part of working with that question is communicating with these archetypes, communicating, asking them questions, asking your guardians questions that are specific to their job. So for example, your prostitute, her job is to teach you faith, to bring in experiences where you have to practice having faith, where you have to push away maybe all your barriers and your comfort zones regarding your faith and work with her and learn that way. So we just have a few questions here that kind of to give you a little examples of what that feels like to work with each archetype, um, your, your saboteur, your guardian of choice, right? Are you willing to do the work? Are you willing to make choices that will lead you to the creation of your vision? And if you just look at that, right, there's so much to, to work with in that, right? Being willing to do the work. What does that even mean to you specifically, right? Each of these is so specific to you, even though they're universal. It's a universal language. Everybody can relate to sabotaging something. Everybody can relate to feeling victimized, right? But while they're universal, we want to find your specific story. We want to help you uncover that and understand your position within all these different energies that are living in your blueprint. And that you're working with and that you're exercising, um, you know, or, and expressing in your life. And it's really a question of whether you're doing it consciously or whether you're doing it unconsciously. So within the archetype workshop that Dr. Orr and I have created, we have three different levels. Um, the first level focuses on the inner guardians, the, the, the prostitute, the saboteur and the victim. And then level two focuses on the child archetype and the child working with a child archetype is a little bit different than doing inner child work um, because your child archetype is like an integral part of your entire chart and it also helps to identify your core wound which is a little bit different than um you know focusing on you know what was happening for you at you know the ages of two three four five so on and so forth um, even though there may be some overlap, uh, there's a lot more to dive into when you when you are learning about and working with your child archetype. And then level three is uh, the natal archetype chart, which you just saw an example of a little bit ago. And it also talks about the placement in the houses and how those um, how each of those areas and aspects of your life um, work and coordinate with the specific archetypes that occupy those houses for for each individual. So level one of this awesome workshop, which we just absolutely love facilitating, we go into discovering your inner guides. And within this two hour workshop, we talk about the three guardians, the prostitute, the saboteur, and the victim. Connie and I will read your chart. And again, if um, people ask us constantly, how do you do that? You just type in your date of birth and your place of birth, like in astrology, and it just pops up. No. So there are different ways of reading your chart. The way that Connie and I do it is an intuitive way where we channel and tap into your subconscious, into your 12th chakra, and we download those archetypes. We communicate with that space and we don't, we read from a deck of cards and we lay your chart out for you. Um, so you get that chart when you participate in this workshop. Um, and we, we work through that. We learn the light attributes, the shadow attributes, of each of these archetypes we the the workshop is small enough that each participant gets an opportunity to share to bring up experiences to ask questions and dive really deeply in so that's level one in level two we talk about the child archetype we talk about the core wound we talk about the different flavors of children we talk about how that influences your life as an adult and how it influences your overall purpose. And then in level three, we look at the whole chart. We talk about the houses, the placements, you learn to read the chart, um, 
and understand the connections between different archetypes on your chart, between the 10th house and the 4th house, between the 11th house between and the 1st house. We get to really bring it all together, all the pieces that you started in level 1 and level 2 come together deeper in level 3. And we talk about your life's patterns and we can really dive deeper so that you get to walk away from this three level workshop with a toolkit of how to implement these archetypes in your daily practice, in your meditation practice, in your self-development practice, in your growth. You get to have a new system. You have to, you get to have um, a system of, tw of a support system, uh, 12 new, 12 or more new um, coaches in a way, <laughs> or, um, no, like, like yeah. advocates, you know, like advocates. Yeah. That can, that can, that can really help you, um, move towards your life purpose and manifesting the things that you want in your life in a more clear and direct way. Yeah. So again, what the archetype workshop includes, it's your natal chart reading, six hours of learning, coaching, connecting with others in the same space and working with each other and having that group of people throughout working together is so incredible you just vibe and feed off of each other's energy it's wonderful and i will um, just i will just add that in our in our most recent archetype workshop um we really had a lot of nice crossover um and similarity between some of the archetype patterns that folks had and so it was really interesting to have conversations about you know somebody who had engineer in the 12th house and then somebody who had engineer in the eighth house and how that worked within their life and it helped others who had that archetype understand themselves better. We're going to cover the four core survival archetypes. You'll have a very deep understanding of them and work and how to work with them. And our guidance and support is there. Once you meet us, once you start working with us, it's a relationship that will last for as long as you would like it to. And we love supporting you and we love giving you homework and we love <laughs> giving you protocols. Um, and helping you really bring your vision and bring your life into the space that you want it to be in. Nice. Yeah, and it really helps um, connect your energy patterns to your vision. And like Dr. Orr said, moves you forward towards achieving your dreams and allowing yourself to soar. Okay, so we have a bundle special. When you sign up to all three levels, you can get a hundred dollar discount if you use the code self-discovery click the link connected to this video to apply applying does not guarantee your spot applying just starts you in the process so there's no commitment to applying if you're curious if you have any more questions um if you want to learn more take that dive take apply. the step apply <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um you can check out the dates you can check out all the information in your application hey.